Morning. Good Monday, folks. Today is December 2nd, and I hope everybody had a enjoyable and blessed holiday weekend. I know I did, but I'm ready to get back at it. We're going to change things up this morning a little bit. Uh, I've had quite a few people message me in regards to some of the bicycle parts that I use or the events that are approaching. There's definitely a buzz in the air with OBC. Uh, we get through the holidays here, and next thing you know, bike season's here. If you're not familiar with OBC, they will be hosting their 8th annual this April in Las Vegas, and I have been fortunate enough to be involved with all of them. I will also be hosting the build-off this year, as I've been doing over the past several years. If you're not familiar with that, we'll talk about that here in a few minutes also. Meanwhile, before we get started, I want to go ahead and show you something. So here's the original banner from OBC1 back in 2013. The banner was originally displayed in the pool area, of which was the meet and greet party for that year. I since acquired the banner from my good friend Shan the Man, and has been displayed here at Peak Cycles proudly ever since. Signatures represent those who have visited Peak Cycles, and holds a pretty good history here so far. Good friends from Germany, Australia, Warren Long, Huey, Bud Man, that's Caleb, Brad, H.B. Robert, Josh from BMF, Mr. Wim, Mika Mika, Ted Flores, T. Flo, of course, Matt's tutor. Goes on and on. Only this banner could talk. Such good times. Which brings me to the OBC Build Off, hosted by Peak Cycles. If you're not already familiar with it, here's the social media page. This can be located on Facebook just as it reads. 2020 Ride OBC Build-Off presented by Peak Cycles. If you're enjoying these videos, you'll surely enjoy following this build-off. For me, it's so much fun and there's so much to learn from these guys. Each year I gather like six to eight builders to fabricate head-to-head. -head. The rules are fairly simple. They must fabricate a frame from scratch of their own design, debut their entire build at OBC CruiserCon in April, their builds will be displayed indoors, beautiful setting, along with all the other vendors in the industry. Adjacent to that, outside, is a huge bicycle show of which you can be involved. There will be judges, awards, food, vending, great time. So check out the OBC website for more information or their social media page. Also check out the build-off page of which I just showed you as I'm going to reveal our first wild card. Did I say wild card? So go check it out later today. Looking forward to seeing more guys sign up in that group. And let's go see what's happening with Peak Cycles. I got the tail dragger in the shop this morning. Got a little project before I get started with the fabrication. Going to switch out this thumb shifter here for a suicide shift. But we'll save that for another segment. Meanwhile, people are asking me what hub I am using on these wide wheels. This is a 130 millimeter wide hoop with a 24 by four and a quarter inch tire. The hub is made by Sturmy Archer who has been around for quite some time, including this particular hub design. Has a 170 millimeter wide dropout spacing which aids in chain clearance, you can see there. Also why they're popular with these wide wheels. Here it is in the box, the SXRK3. My personal preference, internal three speed. Had the lettering removed from mine and high polish, but relatively the same. That's it, time to get to work. So much information, so little time. However, I am looking forward to you signing up on that build off page so we can reveal this wild card. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed today's version of what's happening at Peak Cycles, changing it up a bit, talking about bicycles and parts and upcoming events. Promise there's more fabrication to come, but until then, make it a killer day.